I am Dr. Ganesh Kumar. Uh, I head the Department of Cardiology at uh, Dr. L. H. Hirandana Hospital, Pawai, Mumbai. So, as you are aware, uh, CTO angioplasty is the most complex uh, subset of angioplasties where these are hard, old blocks and uh, there are a few challenges in it. We will talk about it, but the present trend is with increasing aging population of India and uh, uh, lack of penetration of uh, angioplasty to a uh, lot of uh, uh, elderly patients, uh, we will have uh, or rather we are having a lot of patients uh, of this particular subsect uh, of CTOs uh, which have been left untreated both by cardiologists and cardiac surgeons. So, going forward among different types of angioplasties, CTO angioplasty will be uh, 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 on a rise and it needs to be addressed. So, 30 percent of uh, any angiogram that you do will have some or other form of uh, CTOs uh, that exists in one or more than uh, one blocks per patient. That is the present statistics as far as CTOs are concerned. So, uh, globally if you see uh, the, the chance of a patient getting uh, an angioplasty or bypass early on when the disease has been uh, picked up is much better than uh, in India. So, an untreated block when you leave it for a long period of time uh, gets converted into a CTO and, and hence uh, I strongly believe that uh, going forward in next uh, 10 to 20 years, the, this particular burden of CTOs will become huge in India. So, Typically, the challenges that you see in CTOs, I would uh, divide uh, broadly on the challenges that uh, is faced for the technical challenges and uh, second is perhaps the economical challenges. Now, if you see, uh, it requires special training to address uh, CTO angioplasties. Uh, it is not uh, the routine run of the mill angioplasty wherein uh, you can just cross in a wire, balloon and put a stand which lasts for maybe half an hour or one hour. A CTO angioplasty is much beyond just passing a wire. I mean, these there are specialized wires that come from, uh, uh, especially Japan. They they are the most of uh, uh, they are they are, that's the country that has taught the rest of the world how to do CTO angioplasty. So, there are special wires, and there special devices with which you tackle these uh, hard calcified old blocks, and and with this you are you should be able to open these blocks. Typically, uh, you are not taught how to do these angioplasties in uh, during your cardiology training. And uh, uh, after once you start doing your cardiology practice, uh, I mean since you are not trained, you either do not have interest in tackling these CTOs or you are found wanted even if you want to do one uh, case of CTO. So, typically uh, the first challenge is uh, not being able to do it because of lack of training. Secondly, the economic uh, reasons. Uh, you see more and more uh, uh, schemes have been coming up either by government or, uh, or, or, or subsidized uh, uh, state government uh, programs or corporate programs or even the insurance like uh, the government insurance called GIPSA insurance where only a limited budget is allotted for an angioplasty. Now, doing a CTO angioplasty which involves uh, a, a lot more uh, devices that need to be used, the cost of a CTO angioplasty can be almost two to three times than the cost of a routine angioplasty. So, uh, not uh, many people would be keen to get uh, uh, a procedure like a CTO done purely for economic reasons or, or rather the reimbursements uh, coming in from various uh, uh, schemes also continue to question your uh, 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 program of CTO because economically it becomes less viable. As far as academics for CTO is concerned, uh, uh, once we got trained by the Japanese uh, in the last uh, uh, second half of the last decade, we started a program called as Indo-Japanese CTO uh, Club in India. Way back in 2013, uh, uh, Dr. L. H. Hirana Hospital along with uh, my, some of my colleagues from uh, Dr. Pratap from Trivandrum, Dr. Surya Prakash from Hyderabad and Dr. P. K. Goyal from SGPG Lucknow. We formed an association uh, with our Japanese experts and started educating the rest of the cardiologists in the country. So, this is going to be the eighth such program which we are going to do it this year which will be in June. Every year it happens in the first or second weekend of June uh, to just uh, uh, 
uh, enhance the knowledge of other cardiologists. It's a two and a half days program. And uh, this actually, a lot of people have benefited, a lot of cardiologists have benefited. They go back and started doing more and more CTO angioplasty. So this is as far as training of CTO in India and, and, and the subcontinent is concerned. So as you are aware, uh, we started doing CTO cases on a serious note from 2007, 8, 9, when actually these devices started uh, coming uh, to, from Japan. We, we, we took help of Japanese operators uh, to start with uh, uh, in, the two, in, the, in 2007, 8, 9. Then we started doing our own program. We established a very robust CTO program. We have now two dedicated cath labs to do it. And uh, as you are aware, uh, a lot of patients uh, from across uh, uh, India and even subcontinent uh, do come every month to us to get their CTOs uh, operated by us. So uh, uh, generally, if you see CTOs in any hospital do not uh, amount for more than 5 to 10 percent of uh, work among the total angioplasties that are done in other hospitals. We end up doing almost 30 percent of our cases uh, uh, tend to be CTO angioplasties because we do get a lot of patients from across uh, India. Well, the future of uh, uh, CTO angioplasties, the pluses is, is that uh, more and more cardiologists, uh, colleagues of mine across India are picking up this uh, technology. So they are going and doing it even in small tier two cities. Uh, that's the plus. Uh, but the minus it continues to be the economic burden both on uh, the patient as well as uh, the, uh, the reimbursement uh, agencies like insurance. Uh, so they need to understand the, the other players of healthcare need to understand that by cutting cost in CTO, you cannot perform a CTO. So uh, since we are uh, we, we are recognized center for CTO angioplasty, a lot of patients do, uh, we have a lot of inquiries and people do come from subcontinent like Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and uh, uh, neighboring countries, and sometimes even Middle East patients do come to us.